the penny. You probably don't even use it, but it's bringing the economy down. Here's what you need to know. Seniorage is the difference between the face value of a coin and the production cost of that coin. For the penny, it now costs the US Mint 2.4 cents to make each one. It now has 1.4 negative seniorage, and this has been increasing since 2006. 2006 was the first year that it cost more than a penny to make a penny. And since then, it's been rising. By 2010, the US government lost $27 million just producing the penny, and in 2011, it lost $60 million. Clearly, this is a problem. So why are we still minting it? One reason is because there's a powerful zinc lobby in Washington. Americans for Common Sense is funded by Jarden Zinc. And Jarden Zinc is a company based in Tennessee that makes all of our penny blanks. Almost every penny you have in your pocket, if you have any pennies in your pocket, started at Jarden Zinc. And they make these penny blanks that are then shipped to the US Mint. The US Mint then strikes them from there and puts Abe Lincoln's face right on there. Many argue that we don't even need the penny anymore. If we got rid of the penny, Jarden Zinc would be out a lot of money. So one of the reasons we still have the penny is because of this powerful lobby in Washington. But another reason is we still love the penny. Polls show that Americans still like the penny, we want the penny around, even though the penny makes no economic sense. Our neighbor to the north, Canada, is getting rid of their penny. In May, they minted their final one, and in February, they're taking it out of circulation completely. This is rather significant for the US because the two economies are very similar. They're the closest country to the US to get rid of its penny. But there is just one problem with that. If we get rid of the penny, we will likely rely more on the nickel. And guess what? It costs more than 11 cents to make every nickel.